today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. I try to post as often as I can and it's mostly colorful looks. And today I am so, so, so excited for this video and you have already seen in the title which palette I'm going to do a first impression on today. And this palette is created by one of my friends, so it feels really special to me. And it is, of course, Menagerie Cosmetics and then it's Makeup's Corners collab palette, Serenity. And I am just dying <laughs> to try this. I have a lot of Menagerie's palettes, I really like them. I have known Annette for, I think it's maybe three years soon. And... When they came out with this collab, I was like, yes. I actually did a video about collabs that I wanted to see before this was announced. That I wish that Annette would do one with Menagerie. And then the palette came and I was like, this is so, so right. So I'm going to be biased in this video, yes, you know. If you haven't seen, the palette looks like this and... It is such a fun palette and it's one color in this one that I've been dying to use and that is of course this shimmer orange. If you didn't know, I love orange eyeshadow. Orange, red and yellow, I just loved it so much and when I saw this shimmer orange I was like that is for me. I know it's for me. I'm going to love this. So I'm going to do a look with this today and I don't want to talk any more about the palette now. I just want to get started but yeah it's one of their 12 pan palettes and I just think it looks so fun and the front it's butterflies on it and on the back it's butterflies as well and here <laughs> I don't want to show you everything in the mirror um, it says butterflies make the world more colorful and then it's blood blood of lies, butterflies all around the mirror It's okay. I'm going to prime my eyes and then we I'm finally digging into this So all I know for sure is that I want to use the orange shimmer But like I don't know what more to use. I think I will use or do a blue and orange look because Orange and blue is a really nice combo. So I think I will take this one, the matte darker blue and the shimmer blue and the orange shimmer and uh, I will of course do like a shimmer lid <laughs> so I will start with this one in my crease and I'm taking a little smaller crease brush than I usually do because I think this is going to be kind of um, pigmented and I think I have character in my eye as usual, I think I said it in every video but I do have a cat hair in my eyes all the time <laughs> and I didn't talk so much about Annette because it feels like the most of you already know who she is but I has, as I said known Annette for three years I think it's three years now someday now in August and it has been so fun to be with her I think I started to subscribe to her when she had under 200 subscribers, I think. And just to follow her on like her journey throughout YouTube and she's just so creative and she's so kind and it has just been so fun to be with her like this whole time. Look at this shade. Such a nice shade. And if you don't follow on it, I think you should because she's just a sweetheart. And I am so happy for her to be doing this palette. I know how love how much she loves Menagerie and has done it since she began on YouTube. And it's just so fun and it felt like of course they're going to do a collab palette and I'm so happy that I finally have it. Okay, so this is a kind of dark shade and I like this. I hope it will go good together with the orange, but I think it will. 
actually thinking if I should go in with this more like lavender shade in my inner crease but I don't think I will do that. I will take this matte, no, this shimmer dark blue and the orange shimmer on my lid. So I will start with the blue shimmer and then we'll see how this looks. I think this is it. This is really dark. And I really hope that this will look good, but they've done blue and orange looks before and they just goes together so so good. Okay, and this was really I don't think I need to blend this more. This was really really easy to just put on. Or maybe I want to speed this up because I want to test the orange shimmer. Now I'm just going to dig into this orange and it looks amazing on the brush. Now we will see. I love it. I have already decided. I love this shade. Now we will see how it will go together with the blue. I will just try to take this up in my crease a little bit. And it's working to blend. And then we're going to combine these two. Just going back and forth with uh, some orange, some blue, some orange, some blue. Just to fix that blend a little bit more, or yeah, blend them together a little bit better. Okay, I think this is all I want to do to my lids. I am head over heels in love with this orange shimmer. Yes, you know. So I will fix my base and my eyebrows and do my lower lash. I think I might want to put this yellow one in my inner corners or I take the orange I haven't decided yet but I will fix that and then I come back with my first impression kind of like review on it I I know it's strange to do a review on a first impression but I have used so many palettes from Menagerie I know their form formula so I just wanted to talk yeah my first impression review so this is the finished first look and I did use this shade and I sprayed the orange underneath my eyes and I love how the orange looked when it sprayed so I think doing a cut crease with this and have a glitter primer I think it would look amazing so I'm definitely going to try that <laughs> and uh, on my wash line I used Unz from Colourpop and on my lips I took Hanging Rock from Nabla and uh, I I love this look. I love the orange shimmer. I think it looks so good, especially underneath my eyes where I sprayed it. It is like a really, really opaque and super orange. I like how it looks on my lid as well. So, so my first impression with this palette is it feels like the normal shades from Menagerie. I feel like Menagerie, I have all their bigger palettes and I think the formula is just getting better and better and better. The Dragon Shine palette, it's not my favorite. Feral Powers, I think it's good. Whale Song, I love. Killer Purr, it's a good palette, but it's not my color story. Pestle Pop is a good pestle palette, and I think that this keeps the same quality, and I have only used three colors. So I can't say <laughs> much about that, but I think this was really good. It was pigmented, and this dark blue shimmer. Sorry, <laughs> this dark blue shimmer, really, really good and really like opaque from the start and it was blendable as well. And this orange one I have already talked about, I have to do a half cut crease or a halo eye and take a glitter primer just to see how it will look. Okay, I feel it is the same quality as Menardi's other palettes and I know that I am a little biased because Annette is my friend but I do like Menardi's formula, it's not my favorite but I think it's good 
and uh, I have nothing to complain about the three colors that I've tried. So yeah, I think that is everything I want to say. I don't know what to say more. More than I'm going to do multiple looks with this palette. I will at least do two looks one palette, maybe three looks as well. I don't know. It takes a lot of time to do that. But I really want to play with this more. So we will see how many looks I will do. Maybe two looks one palette and a palette bingo. I don't know. But yeah. And another thing that I can say about this palette that for you who live outside of the US, I did manage to get it when it launched. I don't know how that happened, but I got it and I paid for it and everything and then USPS fucked everything up and it didn't ship out of the US. The packages was just going back to Menardry. But I was able to buy it at a restock and everything worked good then. And what I know now, Menagerie has like, the problem is solved with international shipping, but they don't ship to all countries in the world. And I know that they are trying to ship to more and more countries, but with the whole situation in the world and everything, yeah, they are working on it, but yeah. That is all I'm going to say. So I really hope you liked this video and thank you Annette and Manori for doing such a fun palette. It will be so fun to play with it more. And don't forget to check out Annette. She has been up here in the beginning of the video and she's also down in the description. And I think I also will leave her video when she talked about this palette and like showed the palette for the first time so if you want to see that just check it down in the description and yeah i really hope you liked this video and i hope i will see you in the next one bye